This is a discussion of the family of alcohols reactions. The first reaction is the oxidation of a carbon-oxygen single bond to form a carbon-oxygen double bond, that is, a carbonyl compound product. The second reaction is the dehydration, which means the removal of a OH hydroxyl group from the alcohol and a hydrogen from the neighboring carbon. Another reaction is the addition of aldehydes to an alcohol. In this case, the product will be called a hemaacido, that if the reaction continues with an excess of the alcohol will produce an acetol. This reaction will be discussed in one of the coming chapters. Another reaction is the substitution of the hydroxyl group from a carboxylic acid by a OR group from an alcohol to produce an ester. Before we look at the different reactions for the family of alcohol, it's important to have clear understanding of the different types of alcohols. A primary alcohol is one that the OH hydroxyl group is bonded to a carbon that is bonded to two hydrogens. It could be one carbon or it could be many other carbons, but it's important that the carbon that bears the OH is bonded to one carbon. If it is a secondary carbon, the carbon that bears the OH is bonded to two carbons. If it is a tertiary alcohol, the carbon that bears the OH is bonded to three carbons. I have three examples of the three different kind of alcohols. This is a primary alcohol because this carbon is only bonded to one carbon. It doesn't matter that I can have two other carbons or I can have seven carbons. This is still a primary alcohol. This is a secondary alcohol because the carbon that is bonded to the hydroxyl group is bonded to two carbons. This is a tertiary alcohol because the carbon that is bonded to the hydroxyl group, this carbon is bonded to three carbons. One, two, three carbons. Before we look at the reaction of oxidation of alcohols, it's important to remember what oxidation means. An oxidation can be a removal of hydrogens, it can also be an addition of oxygens, or it could be a removal of electrons. In our first case, we have a primary alcohol. This is primary because we see two hydrogens here. When a primary alcohol is oxidized, it can produce an intermediate that is called an aldehyde. This aldehyde can continue oxidizing to produce a carboxylic acid. We can isolate an aldehyde if the oxidant that is used is a mild oxidant. If the oxidant is a very strong oxidant, the product will be directly the production of a carboxylic acid. When the oxidation is taking place on a secondary alcohol, we can remove one hydrogen that is attached to this carbon and also this hydrogen with the oxidant to produce water, but the carbon-oxygen single bond is becoming a carbon-oxygen double bond producing a ketone. When we look at the reaction of tertiary alcohol, a tertiary alcohol will not get oxidized. Two reasons. The first one is that we do not have hydrogens to remove. And the second reason is that if we oxidize this carbon, making a double bond, our product carbon will have five bonds. And that is not possible. This is a second example of oxidation of a primary alcohol. Primary because we have two hydrogens. We have hydrogens to remove. If the oxidant is a mild, we get a aldehyde. This aldehyde can continue with the oxidation to produce a carboxylic acid. Then we see here this is a 
secondary alcohol that can produce a ketone. We still have hydrogens to remove. And this is a tertiary alcohol, and there will be no reaction.